Hey everyone, it's been a while since I did uh, any FFT Arena exhibition videos. I um, did see that Wiz uh, chipped in a couple, and for that, I thank him for it. Um, I'm going to be testing out uh, Shade's team, which he just which he just told me about just yesterday. I, uh, I couldn't produce any videos like I was going to, because I got busy with Easter Sunday. Uh, if I haven't wished all of you Happy Easter before, I'm saying it now. Happy Easter! Day late, I know. <laughs> well, anyways, on to the match. Um, on top is uh, Shade's team. Doesn't have a name. And on bottom, it's um, Rex's team, Evernight. Shade has FDC, the Paladin. First, the Chemist. Shade, the Paladin. And second, the Chemist. Versus Rex's team, which is which has um, Deus, the Ninja. Alexander, the Archer. Sarah, the Priest. And Shizuka the Scholar. Um, Shade's team all Serpentarius. They both have twin setups. Like twin Paladins, twin Chemists. This one's pretty tanky. Has um, Mimic Derivon and Death Sentence, as I recall. And has a shitload of mobility. Look at that. Five moves, six jump, and re-raise. These, these two are tanky in their own rights. However, um, they don't move quite as far. I don't know if that will be a detriment for Shade's team or not, but if these cameras can live long enough, I suppose we'll sh we, so s we shall see. But I guess the purpose for that is the Paladins to keep the chemists healthy with the blaze guns. That's I'm only assuming that's the purpose. I'm sorry I'm getting too long in the video. I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Rex's team, uh, Elemental Absorption team themselves, so they both of these teams can absorb dark. But Shade's team is a little bit more fire absorption as well as um, status. And Rex's team is just basically all around damage based on the dark element. Alright, enough talk. Round one between Shade and Rex will be going to map 34. Seller or Sand Mouse. Um, <clears throat> now I know the tournament up, you know, coming up is going to be a small, large, medium sized map the way it's supposed to be played out. Um, very quick, shade in the yellow and um, and rest in the black. Um, I'm just pointing out that for every map we get onto, um, you can argue uh, what kind of map you can argue what it is and whatnot. This is most definitely a medium sized map, in my honest opinion. See a shadow shade come into play. Leviathan. Not a lot of damage for uh, 50 faith on yielding chemists. Arm aim hits, which is actually a pretty good thing for Rex, but Shade has come prepared with a bandage. Mimic Derivon misses. And I think the purpose of these paladins holding, um, having, um, PA save is Kajisugi can do from can do tremendously more damage as the match progresses. Diaz is still floating forward. Not a lot of damage behind uh, Nijitsu whatsoever. The Shades team is not taking as much damage. Oh, that Paladin's almost down, but one of the chemists should bring him right back up. Twice over he gets healed, so uh, yeah, Shade's team is still in pretty good shape. And I think this is where Kajisugi is going to definitely come into play. Um, with PA save, basically the more PA you add, the more damage Kajisugi does. We see a raise 2 come in. Um, I'm guessing that's the purpose of Shade's Paladins. Oh yeah, even with auto protect. PA save once again, two PA saves. Ouch! That was a crit shot and a half. We see a death sentence in. Oh, I forgot. Everyone on Shade's team has re raised too. Twin diamond, twin diamond helmets and twin angel rings. MP restore comes into play. See, DS is going to do go for Miaton. No PA save. Shizuka is going to go for another Leviathan. Here comes a kill 4. I 
I would say so far, um, it's kind of a bit even, because, yes, you do have a soon to be uh, four on four still even, but I think Shade might actually have the upper hand here, because that archer's death sentence. Hold on. Say his whip heal. Very nicely done. Does 212 damage combined. Oh, Mad Science, very good job. Making sure that even if he does go down, the, um, due to the death sentence, the re-raise will trigger. Mimic Darvon misses. So yeah, Rex might be turning things around here. Leviathan takes out that other Paladin, finally. And if Shay's team is on the, uh, is on the defensive, he, it might work clearly against him because his team does not have uh, white magic or anything of that nature. And that was a 41% rod smack to actually connect. Death Tensions uh, missed again. Doku, um, I think we saw a don't act proc in. The FTC is going to be moving forward. We're going to go for Miaton Heal, which isn't a whole lot. Alexander gets up. Miaton's himself back to health. Again, not for a whole lot, but, uh... Mimic Dervon misses them both. Yeah, Shade's team is re relying a little bit on the RNG, which, unfortunately, I don't think is going to... Ooh, Bio 3 gets blocked. Very nice. And that nurse really did help. And a crit shot didn't help Shade whatsoever. Auto Potion comes into play. Okay, we do see another death sentence. However, with the Mad Science, Re-Raise is going to trigger very, very shortly. See a Futon that time. So they pretty much have each other in sandbag mode right now. Death Sentence is onto the Priest. She may do Mad Science onto herself. Unless she gets distracted and goes for an attack. File 3 heal. Very nicely done. Doku again. This time, don't act and it don't move. Ouch. Kajisugi coming into play. And yeah, Shade seem outmatched physically here. They only have they only rely on sleep procs and death sentence procs to turn things around, but I don't see that happening at the moment. So DS is gonna fly four once again. Ooh, and it don't move in poison procs happen all over the place. Although the Leviathan's doing pitiful damage. It is weakening them to the point where um, the the average like damage from Rex's team is really coming to the forefront. Barry's coming up. No PA save. I think he's don't act it. I'm not positive. So yeah, this is slowly but surely Rex's game. Death Sentence uh, hits again. Nurse, alright. But yeah, Shade Team, uh, definitely resilient. I don't know if it can match physically against Rex's team, though. We do see in High Other, very much needed. So the Cure Frog can come in. File 3 takes out uh, one of the Paladins. And that Archer was able to hit that Paladin from the side, which allowed it for it to be 100%. Kajisugi, but then we see Absorb MP. Nurse, I guess, is very much needed, I suppose. This is going rather back and forth here. No team's been able to actually... be able to put the other away decisively as of yet. But I think that... Yeah, this is slowly, uh, but surely gonna go to Rex, for sure. 
Jay's team is still sandbagging. Kajisugi. We do see an MP restore, which will fill pretty much all of her. Yeah, all of her uh, MP back to full. Another uh, Leviathan coming up. PA save. Death sentence, okay. So Shade is coming back from this, actually. Surprisingly. Mimic Dervon misses again. And the more PA saves trigger, the more damage Kajisugi is going to do. And Shade's team is relying on uh, these Paladins keeping the chemists healthy with Blaze Gun procs and uh, Kajisugis. If only they had like best compat with one another, then the healing should be like increased tenfold, at least this way I'm looking at it. But that's just my opinion though on the matter. Crochet's team, as I remember, usually likes to go for neutral compats. Nothing wrong with that. I just would have liked I just would have liked um your best compat between the two. Or maybe it's maybe it's um concern for a charm proc. You could argue that point too. And that Kajisugi nearly killed that priest. One more PA save, and I think it would one-shot her. Indefinitely. Death sentence? I think he has an angel ring. If that's the case, then that's a wasted turn. I could be dead wrong, though. We'll find out. It is back and forth. Um, we're about 10 minutes in, sort of. Well, 12 minutes into the video, but 10 minutes into the match. This has been going on for quite a bit. Death sentence uh, missed again. In theory, the longer this does go on, the more it should fail the shade. Because these PA saves is going to have Kajisugi. Do tremendously more damage and just pretty much one shot everything and every one in sight. Death sentence uh, missed again. Plus these paladins will move MP up. Not a bad, not a bad choice at all. Not a bad choice. Arme misses. Sarah's gonna go for a raise two. Death sentence missed. Well, wow, Shade's getting been getting really unlucky with the odds just in his favor to hit uh, death sentence. Carbuncle and absorb MP. That's a very good. Con oh, that ninja did not have uh, angel ring then. Mimic Dervon finally hits. So Shade's team is slowly coming. It's slowly taking over this whole match. Yep, now it's over. Just like that. After a long struggle, 415 damage sleep bonus. Oh, that ninja had um chantage. Okay, he has. Sh yeah, he has chantage. That's what it was. But he gets death sentenced again, so this one is definitely going to Shade. I was kind of surprised that even though Shade initially couldn't match up with Rex's team physically, as the match dragged on with the PA saves, he's been able to pretty much uh, destroy everything with uh, Kachisugis. And the fact that they don't always use it is actually a very good thing, to be perfectly honest with you. So, we do know that Shade's gonna win this one, it's just a matter of, um... Man, the rest of these Paladins get in range and take care of that sleeping Archer. So yeah, good staying power sh shown by Shade here, th with the re-raises. And the PA saves. Sleep is gonna wear off, finally. Arm aim hits, but Bandage will take care of that. So, um... Oh, I get it. That Archer with Black costume, these Paladins can't hurt him at all. So it's really up to these chemists to do Death Sentence, honestly. 
and it's gonna drag on for a while, unfortunately. With pretty much everyone on Rex's team crystallized, if I do see a sleep proc, then I'm calling it game. Because there's no way one archer can fight off four units. Death sentence is hit, so that is it. We're just gonna wait for Death sentence to expire, and Shade will be definitely taking the first round. <sighs> definitely uh, a good strategy shown by Shade here. Just the staying power really, really kicked in. Especially since you got re raises. And we do see a Miaton heal. Um, 100. Oh, I get it. The purpose of that is to also increase the damage from the Jitsu that these Paladins have, too. I forgot about that. Nonetheless, Shade wins round one. We'll see what happens in round two. Okay, round two. Shade and Rex, we are at map 101, tutorial one. And this is a, a medium slash small map because uh, the two people, two teams rather, can actually reach up to one another. Uh, Mimic Dervon misses. Misses again. So off the bat, we're seeing um, Shagan unlucky with some status. Um, <clears throat> the Ninja Karen Chantage. Um, while good I am at best doesn't exactly uh, help you stop against uh, death sentence blocks. PA save once again. Army misses. Sunken state, very good. Hits again. And Shade's team, uh, so far just soaking up whatever damage Rex's team can dish out. Quite honestly. PA save and more PA save. Yeah, Leviathan's doing pitiful damage. Even with the Prismatic Rod, it's not doing as much damage. Probably because of the 50 faith and the unyielding. Armin misses once again. You know, you often wonder, should uh, transparency increase the chances of uh, arm aim and breaks and such? Just a thought. Um, but yes, both of these teams are kind of even in terms of... Um, as far as not being able to put the other one away so quickly. Yeah, with the auto protect, Nijitsu is doing crap damage. Death sentence uh, missed. Now it hits. Okay. And this is where PA save is really helping out here. It makes the healing for the paladins to the chemist even stronger, and does damage Kajusugi even more. No PA save this time. Crossbow shot. You see, death sentence missed. High potion once again. MP restore hits. Okay. That one of the Paladin, um, not the one defending, is probably going to die very shortly. E yep, no, wait. We see don't act in a darkness proc. Um <clears throat> Not sure why you go for that if you could have just gone for damage instead. I mean yes the status is our cool, but Well that ninja didn't get death sentenced. But yeah that yeah, that pal was able to nurse himself back to health. And I've noticed that for every PA say that triggers, um, the Jitsu just does more damage. And is it me or those flails have like a hundred percent accuracy? Because that should have been like a 
I, I'm, I'm not sure that should have been like a 70% chance to hit. Because I don't think that ninja has like concentrate or anything like that. He has like mostly just attack up. Bio 3 gets blocked. 20% chance of uh, dodging. Connects. Not the best of choices to go after these paladins, especially at full health, especially also that PA save is going to keep on triggering and triggering. Uh, poison might be a detriment to Shade's team, maybe a little bit. But to be honest though, they have so much sandbag power, it shouldn't really matter. That skull went down. Nurse once again. Uh... Don't move in poison this time. Okay. Armay misses. See, d death sentence does connect. And w as long as he has a chantage on, uh, he is still gonna die, but re-raise will still trigger. And more PA save. Futon that time. Mimic Dervon, very nice, canceling that race too. And that's gonna allow uh, Shade's team to basically one shot them with Kajisugi. Alexander's gonna go for a crossbow shot, doesn't quite get her. If there was a crit, yeah, he could have forced a re raised to proc. I dropped to get rid of the darkness. Very good job. PA save once again. Oh, Kajizuki got blocked. But 307 damage. Yeah, and Death Sentence took his toll. That chemist is... Well, she's still alive, but I don't know for how much longer. Shade definitely has this match in the bag here. The PA save heals are really helping out big time in the long run. And I'm certain this is the type of strategy Shade likes. Uh, long haul, long haul defense, honestly. Then dish out, you know, twice as much damage as they normally would be able to in the beginning. The idea is to go for more sandbagging, but to be perfectly honest with you, uh... Or maybe hits. I don't think it would matter. We just sort of need um, <clears throat> a way to get rid of uh, the ninja and the archer. Then I think we should be set. It's going to take a while, however. We finally see a blaze gun heal. I would have gone for the uh, death sentence. So yeah, we're just pretty much seeing the same thing. Uh, back and forth. Well, not back and forth, but the same uh, loop. Our aim hit, so that might change the complexion of the match a little bit. Yeah, the problem with um, um, Shades Paladins against the Archer and the, and the Ninja is they don't have like armor break or anything of that nature to um, to get rid of the black costume. However, if these cameras can just simply stab him to death, then I guess that's another thing they can do. I mean, the Archer does not have regen of any kind, or move a or even move HP up for that matter. I guess the only thing these paladins are really good for at this point is just keeping these chemists healthy. We finally see a crit shot. But um, that chemist down there does have every raise, so she's gonna get back up right about now. <clears throat> I 
So yeah, we're seeing the same thing over and over and over. No auto potion. We're probably gonna see uh, Miaton heals, which does connect. And I think one more shot, and that archer is dead. The canvas aren't exactly soft hitting, but. Ooh, arm aim hits. Okay, that's gotta buy the archer a little bit more time to live. But we are seeing the same thing over and over, but it will slowly be a. It will soon be a four on one situation. That ninja's stuck in sandbag mode pretty much the entire time since this loop started. Now to get focus their attention on the, the uh, Diaz the Ninja, probably death sentence him down, which is what they need to do, because Shade's attacks doesn't seem to uh, be effective at this point anymore. Death, uh, the first death sentence missed. Ninja with Fly can pretty much, can pretty much get himself out of any corner. <clears throat> They could stab him to death, actually. If they decide to. Uh, death sentence. Hits. Okay, so that ninja's down. Now I just need to get rid of that one archer over there. With a smack. Then it's pretty much game. This is about going on as long as the first match was. Holy crap. I mean, I know it's due to the fact that half of uh, Rex's team can negate Shade's uh, Paladin's attacks. But, he, but still. I think it's all we gotta take is just one more shot. If the chemist can just corner the archer, then he shouldn't have anywhere really to go. I mean, he can fly around all he likes. Okay, now he's gonna get in the fight. Arm aim connects, but. It's over now, so Shade, good job. Your long-term strategy really paid off. GG.